Hello everyone, welcome to Nara Charms. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 tips you must follow while making ad dry clay charms, which is important for beginners and people who have started clay can gain more information from this video. Here is my tip 1. Tip 1 is that air dry clay should be tightly packed and it should be packed in a cling wrap and then should be put into a baggie. It should be packed tightly so that it doesn't dry. After being put into a baggie, it should be put into a resealable bag. Before sealing the resealable baggie, be sure to remove the air from it. And that is how you keep air dry clay tightly packed. Air dry clay shouldn't be baked unlike polymer clay. Keeping your work surface clean is one of the bonus points while making your clay charms because if you don't keep your work surface clean, you might get tiny specks of dirt. Always remember to keep your work surface clean and you will get the best results. Securing the eye pin is one of the important steps while making clay charms. To secure the eye pins, I use super glue. I apply some super glue on the eye pin and then place the eye pin inside the charm. I suggest you to never keep your undried creation on your work surface because this is the problem you'll face. You can color your clay in any color you want using soft pastels or chalk pastels. To create your own color, Flatten down the clay and scrape in some chalk pastels. And start mixing them. You can even color your clay using paint which leads to my next tip. I would suggest you to color your clay using acrylic paint or oil colors and never use postal colors. Never make your clay creations with wet hands because once your clay touches water, it becomes too sticky to use. The same applies while applying fevicol on your undried clay. Never apply fevicol on undried clay because once you apply it, it becomes too slimy and too sticky to use. You can apply fevicol to the hardened clay which leads to my next tip. While sticking two pieces of clay, you always need to apply Fevicol. 
But do remember, as I said earlier, that never use Fevicol with undried clay. You can use it with hardened clay. Glazing is an optional part while making clay. I glaze my clay charms using nail polish, nail enamel for red dry clay. So this is what the complete video is about. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more crafted videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. If you did enjoy, please do let me know in the comment section so that I can make more 10 tips for a dry clay.